to use a text document, you would use it like any text document. I can push tab and start my paragraph. This is my paragraph. And then I can push enter to start a new line. This is my new line. If you want to change the font, I can highlight a word. And then up in the toolbar, you'll notice that I have a few different font choices. They are all web compatible, so there's not that many choices, but you do have some choices. So I can change the font style. I can change the font size. You notice here the default is size 11, but I could go ahead and make it size 24. And of course, I have the standard bold, italics, and underline. So I can click I for italicize and just do the normal things that I normally do. If you want to change the color of your text, you'll notice it might be a little bit confusing as you have two what looks like text color spots. So this first one, as you hover over it, you'll notice it says text color. And so when I choose that, I'm able to change the color of my text. Notice I have a variety of colors to choose from. In this case, I'll choose that my text is pink. Now let me go ahead and highlight these words and I'll go and make them size 24. And the other one, you'll notice that it has like a, a block around it because it's going to highlight behind the text. So instead of changing the text color, think about it as highlighting. So I can change it to yellow to highlight yellow. Or I can highlight, choose, and change the background to red. So I'm able to easily format my font using Google.